What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to the first of a couple of videos hopefully here on the channel today and the first of a couple for this weekend of debuting early footage for you guys of DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare. Sabotage comes out this coming Tuesday for PlayStation 4 users available with the Season Pass or separately on its own digital download, but it is going to be something that comes out this Tuesday and I was lucky enough to be brought out to Infinity Ward to capture early footage here for you guys by my good friends in Infinity Ward and Activision. So, huge shout out to them. It's always a blast and such a huge honor to go out there for that. And they paid for my flight and hotel out there. And then we just got to work capturing the footage for DLC 1 for all of you. So, this time, it was actually a group that I hadn't really ever met really before, which was very cool. It was my friends that I've known a little bit the first couple OG X rays, Incredible Lag, Green Goblin HD. But I got to meet some awesome people like Ink Slasher, Exclusive Ace, I Crazy Teddy, Sky Rose, Elite Shot, NoJ456, I've seen around at COD XP, but that's about it. And then MC Sports Hawk. Absolutely awesome people and awesome creators, but you might notice some of these names and you might realize that some of these guys are really good COD players. So this footage over the weekend you'll see may not be the best that I could have done, but I also don't believe there was much aim assist in the builds we were playing or the setup was pretty relaxed compared to what I'm used to or let's just be real here, I'm probably just making up excuses because I played poorly. But regardless, we're going to have every single map here for you guys over the weekend. So hopefully you guys stick around for that and then zombies coming up as well too. So stick around here if you guys are interested in this. But this first map that we're showcasing here today is Dominion, the first map of the weekend and one that you might recognize. It is actually Afghan from Modern Warfare 2, remade and reimagined. And I absolutely loved Afghan, so seeing this again was definitely nice. Does it have the same feel and same vibe? Not entirely, but the nostalgia is certainly something that you'll enjoy and something that is very nice and plays in very well with the map itself. By no means though do I mean that this plays poorly because it doesn't play the same. I think it's an absolutely great reimagination of the map and it's something that out of all the maps that we played, this was probably my favorite here out of them. You'll see in a couple of days here, Neon I think is coming up very soon. That was another really fun one, but also I just didn't get too many good gameplays on it. I couldn't get the hang of it. I don't know why. But definitely I think Dominion takes the number one spot here at this one, but if you want to compare it directly to Afghan, this is something that's a little bit tough because they are completely different but the same if that makes sense. One is definitely a reimagination to make it more space themed because well we're in space with it, whereas Afghan is in the Middle East and it's an actual desert cliff overhang where a cargo ship is crashed. So the main aesthetics are something that you can recreate and copy, but a lot of the different gameplay mechanics and things like that you can't really recreate. So it does break off in a sense to become its own thing, but is it something that is absolutely awesome? I think yes. It's very true to the original. That's one thing that you'll definitely notice. It has almost as much detail as possible to recreate it as such, but just in a different setting, which is definitely a nice little thing that we want here for the nostalgia factor and for players that really are looking forward to Modern Warfare 2's Afghan again, but in Infinite Warfare. Now, there are some subtle differences to it, some things you might notice right away. Some of this is a little bit more open, I feel like. One thing that definitely seemed a lot more open was the cliffside. I definitely think that that did not have as much debris on it in this iteration, in this version of the map as it did in Modern Warfare 2. I could be wrong, but it just seemed a lot more open and a lot more vulnerable, if you want to put it that way. Some things like debris are not one-to-one -one in terms of the ratio in which they were comparable to that of Afghan and Modern Warfare 2, but I still think that it absolutely turned out brilliantly. And once again, I think this is probably my favorite map out of the map pack so far and the map she'll be seeing here up on the channel in the next couple of days. With how much people want nostalgia coming back into Infinite Warfare, how much they want to see Modern Warfare return, this is definitely a nice way to do it, I think, to bring the fan favorite maps back into the game in its own regard. Though it is a little bit altered, I still think it definitely plays absolutely fantastically and definitely I think you guys will enjoy. So if you plan on picking up Sabotage this Tuesday, I think you guys will definitely enjoy jumping into this map here in multiplayer and having a little bit of maybe nostalgic fun and just maybe making some new memories of your own here on this version. But definitely something very cool. I had a ton of fun with this map. I think you guys definitely will enjoy as well. But that's where we're going to wrap this up. I think I'm going to let the gameplay play a little bit more in the background so you get some more vibes and feels from it and in a more unedited version of it so you can get the full feel of everything you'll be experiencing here within this. Once again, gameplay might not be the best, so I apologize for that, but 
It's a one-time shot here thing, and I was playing with some real legends out there. I mean, Green Goblin, Elite Shot, both known for their insane gameplays, exclusive ace and credit lag, and everybody out there really was actually really good at the game. So it definitely made it for some very competitive gameplays. Maybe on my end, not some of the best, but regardless, hopefully you guys still enjoy. I think I'm gonna try and put up another video, maybe two here of this today. I know I wanna put something up that I think you guys definitely will enjoy. It's a very short video, but still very fun and cool to take a look at. That's gonna be a YouTuber gun game here with this on Afghan, so make sure you stick around for that as well. That'll be going live in probably about an hour, to two hours after this video goes immediately live. And I'll leave an annotation right now if it is up already. But thank you dudes so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Once again, a huge thank you to my friends in Activision and Infinity Ward for flying me out bringing me out to be a part of this event. It's always a true honor, and I really have a ton of fun with every single time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this early footage and are as hyped for DLC 1 as I am. There's definitely some cool stuff I can't wait to share with you guys here about this even more as the weekend progresses. But thank you dudes so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys aren't new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything. Infinite Warfare DLC 1, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty in general, really. We got you covered here on the channel. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that link is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. Practically there so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there and thank you dudes so much for watching my name is Nicole I Express, so i'll see you guys later take care and peace Satellite. 